In Dynamics 365, I have created two entities named as Vehicle Insurance and Vehicle Details under Sales Area. Now I'm going to select the Vehicle Insurance entity and I'm going to open this Anil Kumar record. This record is a simple example to show you or to make you understand. Here the make is already set to Emaha. Our requirement is whenever I update this make to Honda from Yamaha to Honda if I update this uh, record a new record has to be created in this vehicle details entity before that let us see as you can see here there, there are no records in vehicle details entity now let us go back to vehicle insurance entity I'm going to open this Anil Kumar record here I'm going to update this make from yamaha to honda in real life it doesn't happen like this this is just for an example i am changing the make from yamaha to honda and once i click the save button a new record will be created in this vehicle uh, details entity i'm going to click on the save button my plugin will be triggered and if i go back to my vehicle details you can see a new record has been created now let us write a plugin code for this scenario this is my plugin code uh, I will not explain from here to here because this is the common code that you will see in all the plugins uh, if you want to learn more about this uh, code, common code, then go go to my uh, website solution domain and refer this post plugins in Dynamics CRM 365. Here I have provided the deep content. Just go through it. You will get step by step process and you will get the best knowledge. Now coming back to the plugin, uh, here we are passing context dot user ID, meaning that the user who is currently logged into the uh, Dynamics 365 that user ID will be passed here. In this line of code we are checking that input parameter contains target in if condition. If it contains target we are getting inside the if block. Here in this line uh, we are getting the record from the target and converting it to entity type. Out of these two lines, you can use any one of them. Both will give you the same result, but it is the different approach of writing the code. In this line of code, I have taken integer variable make. Make is an integer variable. Why I have taken integer type? Because if we go back to our entities, in this vehicle insurance entities, if I click on this new button, and I go to level up and I click on show option set values this is our option set right and we are getting the option set values over here using level up and all the values of option set are numeric type so I'm using integer type variable make okay and here I have return conditional branching or ternary operator uh, where from here to here is the condition and this is the value 1 and this is the value 2 if condition becomes true if condition is satisfied then this uh, value will be executed and the result will be stored in the make if condition becomes false if this condition becomes false minus 1 will be stored in this make if you are thinking why I have used minus 1 over here, okay, I will tell you that uh, this is our option set names, right? For every option set names, we have option set values, right? What if you don't select any option set name? You can say this select, right? What if you do not select any option set name? Meaning it is meaning nothing is selected, unassigned value, uh, the option set is empty. For that purpose, I have taken minus 1 over here. If this condition fails, minus 1 will be stored in this integer variable make and that minus 1 will be compared with this Honda option set value. As it is false, 
it, the control will come out of the loop if this condition satisfies meaning vehicle ensure ent dot contains nvp make nvp make is the logical name of our option set right see this is the logical name of our option set whenever you select any option set name here that value will be passed here that value will come here and we are getting that value we are getting that option set value by get attribute value method and storing that in make variable of integer type and that value will be compared with this option set value in this if condition if it if it is true then we are getting inside the if block here in this if block this is the line of code where we are creating new object of vehicle details entity here we have this entity right vehicle details for this vehicle details entity we are creating object in this line of code we are assigning the hard code value this hard code value we are assigning to the object having field logical name nvp name of vehicle details entity if we go to our vehicle details entity and if i click on this new button i go to level up i'm going to click on logical names here is the logical name of vehicle name owner vehicle model vehicle type and i'm using these logical names here and i am assigning the hard code values to them by using object and finally i am using a crm service which is the local variable of i organization service uh, to create a record i am using create method to which i am passing a vehicle details object of this entity once it is done you need to build your solution you need to right click on your project go to properties give a strong name and you need to sign in give a strong name and sign in i have already done it next you need to register your dll file in your plugin registration tool once you register your dll file in plugin registration tool and you are good to go now let us create one record now let us update one record and see and i'm going to update this record which is honda i'm going to save it to hero i'm going to save this record option set name as hero now we go back to this vehicle details here we have only one record created you can see the time is 4 41 pm now i'm going to update this record to honda and if i click on this save button the one more record one more new record will be created in this vehicle details entity i'm going to click on save button now my plugin will be triggered and you can see see 441 this record has been created by our plugin i hope and believe that you have learned and understood something from this video please hit that like button thanks for watching see you in the next video